I'd say good afternoon to everyone on this second Sunday, December the 10th, 2023, in the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am the Reverend Dr. Lenny Marshall, the pastor of St. Philip AME Church, coming to you today uh, for a message from the Lord on this second Sunday. And due to the inclement weather, uh, we decided that today we're going to go ahead and video uh, the message and put it on our YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel um, through our website, www.stphilipame.com. Go there, click on the link. Go into our website, click on the YouTube channel, become a subscriber, and look at all of the messages that have been posted so far. Uh, you can binge watch it and watch all the messages that we have for you to encourage you in this life. I'm not going to prolong the time any longer. We'll get started with our worship experience. We're going to start with our doxology come back and after the doxology we'll go into our prayer So that was our doxology. Now let us have a word of prayer. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come before you, to worship you in spirit and truth. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord, for watching over us since the last time we got together. Now, Lord, as we go into this service, we ask your blessings upon each and every one of us. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen. This time we're going to have our hymn of praise. After we have our hymn of praise, I will come back yet again, and we'll go through a scripture. So stay tuned, listen to the song from the Lord, and we'll see you back after the selection. Blessed assurance. That Jesus is mine, my mind, mine. Oh, what a foretaste! A foretaste of glory divine. Oh, yes, I'm an heir to salvation. Yes, I am. I've been purchased by God. So glad. Born of his spirit, his spirit, oh Lord. I'm just washing his blood. This is my story. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my, my song. This is my song. For my song. I'm praising my Savior. Submission Oh, perfect delight That's what he is in my life 
visions of rapture. Savior, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Thank you so very much for that hymn of praise from our Minister of Music at St. Philip AME Church with the Saints go marching in Makia Daniels. Now I'm going to turn to the scripture for today. It comes from the letter of James, New Testament, the epistle letter of James from the first chapter. Read a couple of verses. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes in the dispersion greetings. Verse number two, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials, of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. I've read for you just three verses from the book of James. It's my prayer that the Lord add a blessing to the readers and hearers and doers of his most holy word. This time we're going to have another selection. And after you will have heard this selection, I will come back to give you a brief exhortation of the message for this Sunday, second Sunday in December, the third Sunday of Advent that focuses on joy. So prepare your minds and hearts to hear a word from God after you uh, hear this next selection. Be back in a minute. Say when I'm in trouble, when I'm in trouble. 
He'll fight my battles. I know that he will. Thank you so very much for that, listening and tuning into that second selection. I'm not sure whether there was a brief pause between when you last saw my face and I said something and then the next selection. I think what I failed to do is share my screen so you could hear the song. And then when I figured that out, I went back, started it up again, started the song again and just played a little bit of that second selection for you. Um, that was played for you. Now that we've heard that selection uh, about how Jesus will fight our battles, we're going to come into the word of the Lord from James, from the scriptures that was read. And I want you to go ahead and get your Bibles. Um, and, 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 and as I get ready now to break this down for you in the form of a message on the third Sunday of Advent, December 2023, with the theme for the third Sunday of Advent being joy. So wouldn't you know it that in James, it talks about joy. So if I had to title this exhortation today, I would say, count it all joy. Count it all joy. We certainly praise God for you who, uh, who, who are viewing this YouTube video and for our AME Episcopal leadership under the direction of Frank Medicine Reed of the 11th Episcopal District of the state of Florida and the Bahamas, and then our presiding elder of the Quincy Monticello District, of which I am a part, presiding elder Valerie J. Walker, and certainly to the members and officers of St. Philip and to you, count it all joy is the message for today. Count it, count it all joy. Here in the month of December, what we find going on nowadays is that the month of December will raise the level of anxiety and frustration of so many because of the time of the season. The holiday season means gift giving, shopping, means expectation, means end of the year. We all are reflecting on a whole lot of things that are happening in the world today. Division, hatred, economic hardship, immigration, you name it, we've got a lot that is going on in our lives. But yet and still, the third Sunday of Advent is designated for the theme of joy. And so you might say to yourself, what is there to be joyous about? James reminds us that joy comes in different shapes and forms as we go through what we go through. And how in the world could James make the connection between trials and joy? Well, let me show you before I end this brief exhortation for today. James says that whenever we face trials, in other words, in life, we will have trials. You know, we live in a world today where a lot of people don't like going through trials or they don't understand what trials mean. I don't think it's fair when they go through trials. I have people that say that life is hard and life is tough and, you know, trials uh, are wearing them down. And on the left, they have finances. On the right, they have problems in relationships. On, on Above them, they have problems on the jobs. Beneath them, they have problems with their grocery bill and their problems seem to be running abound. But my brothers and sisters, I stopped by to tell you that trials are there in your life for a reason. Trials only serve to make you stronger. Now, how could you understand that? How do you understand that, preacher? Well, let me tell you how you understand that. You see, when you go through something, God has a way of showing you of how he's going to bring you out. 
And what we see in our life, amen, is that we have some people who will experience trials in life, but not realize where their help comes from. Let me take it one step further. When we have problems, like for instance, with our finances, what God, what God does in the midst of a child in finances is to remind us where our finances come from and who we need to lean on. God says in his word that if you try him and in you, in your tithes and offerings, that he will bless you. He will open up the windows of heaven more and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room to receive. So the trials of finances are only meant to strengthen our faith in the one that is able to make a way out of nowhere. Oh, I just said something. You see, my brothers and sisters, when you have a trial, James says, trials of any kind, trials in relationships, trials and finances. When you have trials of that sort, short of that sort, you should consider it all joy. Consider it joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy because your trials, amen, somebody, your trials, like Jane says, that your trials only increase your faith to endure, amen, to strengthen your endurance. In other words, I may be going through, but while I'm going through, I'm still going to have joy because this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. So there's a difference between joy and happiness. Joy, come on, somebody, is sustainable. Joy is consistent. Joy is always there. Happiness comes and goes. You may be happy today, but I'm not so happy tomorrow. But joy, joy is always with you. In other words, what do you have to be joy about? Joyous about? What do you need to have joy for? Joy only serves to encourage you to keep running the race to see what the end is going to be. James says, let your endurance have full effect. In other words, when you are running this race of life, you need endurance, you need energy, you need strength. And your endurance comes from, come on somebody, your faith. Your endurance comes from your faith and your endurance when you have strong faith will operate in full effect so that you may be mature. When you understand that joy is all about ups and downs and joy is about consistency, then you understand that the joy that God gives you, come on somebody, is always going to be with you because he is always with you. So the joy that we need to count, come on somebody, is based on the trials that he brings us through. In other words, when you go through, you still have joy because joy will always make a way. Joy will always put a smile on your face. Joy will always encourage you to keep on keeping on. Joy will always put a shout on your lips and joy will put a song in your heart. I don't know about you, but I count it all joy. I count it all joy when I think about the goodness of the Lord and all he's done for me. I count it all joy that though it may be raining today, I still can send a word from him on YouTube. I count it all joy because I know God is able. I know God will take care of me. How many of you know that when you have joy, joy will, joy will, joy will never let you down. And don't you let nobody steal your joy because joy says, when James says, when you got joy, you be become mature enough to remember, come on, somebody, that you don't lack nothing when you trust in him. When you have joy, James says, you protect your joy. You don't allow people to infringe on your joy. And God will always take care of you in your joy. So count it on this third Sunday in Advent. Count it all joy. Whatever you're going through, count it all joy. Whether it's in your finances, count it 
all joy, whether it's a sickness in your body, count it all joy, whether it's in your relationship with your family, count it all joy, because the joy that you have will give you the strength to keep on in Jesus' name. Count it all joy, and God will certainly always be there and take care of you. I don't know about you, but you might feel like shouting right now because you're going through, but you still got joy. I still got joy because he woke me up this morning and started me on my way. And as I close, when you count it all joy, Jane says, you will be complete and not lack in anything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, that I don't have to lack in anything because I count it all joy. As I get ready to play this last selection, my brothers and sisters, joy is a key component to every Christian's life. And when you, God gives it to you, even through your trials, you can tell them thank you because you count it all joy, God will never give up on you and God will always count on you to tell somebody to keep on in Jesus' name and never lose the joy of their salvation. So I'm gonna play this next selection and come back and then we'll close out today's abbreviated worship experience. And I pray that there was something I said that will encourage you to continue to count it all joy. The Lord's name be praised. Can we, can we try it here? Let's try it here. One, two, three. I will bless the Lord at all times, for he is good, you are good, and I'm good, and he is more than good as we get ready to close out today's worship experience on this sun second Sunday in December, third Sunday of Advent. I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you, and that the Lord will shine his light upon you and give you peace both now and forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you be able to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope you check out my past videos. I hope you will come visit us at 
St. Philip AME Church on 6200 Centerville Road in Tallahassee. We are there every Sunday beginning at 9.30 for our church school at our 11 o'clock worship experience. There is plenty room for you there to be a member of our church family. We are the church where the saints go marching in and we look forward to seeing your face in the place on any Sunday that were there. Stay safe, stay you, stay in the Lord, and he will take care of you. Take care and God bless.